Hello and welcome to challenge number seven in our 10 days of React challenges. In this challenge, we're going to be fetching data inside of a React application and then displaying that data. This is something you're going to do in pretty much every single application. Let's get started. Let's start looking at the challenge. Here is the final challenge and you can find the links to this down below. We have a button that says fetch data. As soon as we click this button, we're going to go fetch data from the Game of Thrones API, which is pretty coolly called an API of iceandfire.com. And if you go to an API of iceandfire.com, we can see exactly what comes out of this API. We have characters that we can pull. What we're gonna pull is books. And let's just do all the books. So this is the URL that we're gonna search for API of iceandfire.com slash API slash books. And it gives us an array and each object is going to be a single book. And you can scroll through and see all the books. It even has the characters and those characters linked to certain character API endpoints from the same API. Let's go back to our application. Once we click fetch data, it'll hit the API of ice and fire. We're going to click fetch data. It goes ahead and grabs that data and shows all the books in order. Book one, book two, book three. It has the name. It has the author, which is George R. R. Martin. Grim for the uh, Game of Thrones fans. 694 pages. Where is it made? And the date it was released. Now let's take a look at the starter kit. We have here our starter kit. We have the button to fetch data. And we're going to wire up that button so that we can go fetch data. Up here, we already have the API URL, so you don't have to go digging for it. This is the API of iceandfire.com slash API slash books. So you just hit this API URL when you want to. And then down here, we're going to loop over all the books that we get and display them using this kind of format. All right, let's go back to our slides. It is challenge time. Go ahead and pause this video. Try to complete the challenge on your own. And when you're ready, come on back. Welcome back. Let's start talking about the solution to this challenge. To start us off, we're going to go back to our starter code sandbox. Up here, we have our button. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we can go on click and we're going to go fetch books. And I'll just call that fetch books. We have a little bit of wishful thinking here. We have fetch books, but we have not made this function yet. We're going to go up into our app function right here. Enter, enter. We're going to say, function fetch books right here. There's a couple ways we could do this. We could use Axios, which is a third party library for making HTTP calls. We also have fetch, which is built into JavaScript. Since it's built in, we don't have to pull any third party packages. We'll use fetch right here. So we're going to say fetch API URL dot then. And once we have a fetch, we have to unwrap the response because that's how fetch gives it to us. We have to go response and arrow response.json. So we're returning response.json here. And then we go enter dot then. Now we finally have data. And let's just see what data is. So let's console.log data right here. So we have this fetch books function. We are actually calling it on click. So let's go ahead and inspect element here. We're going to go into console, clear all this out. And once I hit fetch data right here, click, we're going to see the network tab. Let's go look at the network tab. It hits the API of iceandfire.com slash API slash books. And we get our preview here, which is an array of all of our different books here. Once we go to console, we have our data and we can actually loop over this data and show it inside of our application. To set this so that React can re-render our application whenever we get new data and we set new data we need to use state so over here we're going to say const books set books is equal to use state and thanks to code sandbox it will auto import that for us use state and notice it got pulled in right here destructured out of the react library use state and we're going to do null so we start off with null no books and then once we get books here we're going to go set books and data. We could even one line this right here. There we go. 
Next up, now that we are going to have books set right here, we need to actually display these books. So let's go down here and display data from our API. We have books, but this book div right here, let's close out our console. We don't need that anymore. This book div right here, we're gonna loop over this for every single book. So to do that, we're gonna say books, and so we only wanna do this map if books exist, because right now when books starts, it's null, and that's right here, it starts as null. Now, if we go down here, we go books and books.map. We're gonna say book index right here, and then let's move all of this down to below here. Okay, so every time we get books, we're gonna map over those books. We're gonna get a book and an index. We need to add a key if we're ever mapping inside of React. And this is so React can efficiently update our list. It always wants a key so that it knows all the items in our list. And then we can just go down the line. So if we inspect element here and we click fetch data, let's go look at our console. Oh, we're no longer consoling it. So let's uh, come back up here. Let's break that out again. And then let's console log just so we know what's coming out of our API. If you don't want to do the console log, you can just go back to an API of iceandfire.com and look directly there. But since we're here already, we're going to console.log data and then also set books with the data. Save that. Fetch data. Here are our 12 books. All right, we have authors and it's an array, but let's actually do authors last. Okay, so let's come down here to our map, books.map. We have book name. We're going to replace this whole thing with book dot name and that's right there inside of our console let's go look so we have book dot name right here number of pages we'll also use so let's go down here book dot number of pages let's replace that book dot number of pages okay let's hit fetch data we probably should just go to the website and look since this is not as efficient we have book dot country all right, what else do we have? Book.released, but that's actually not like a convenient date. So we probably are going to need to format that. Book number, we can actually do index plus one because index starts at zero. And let's hit fetch data again. I keep forgetting what's in this thing. Book.country is this one right here. Okay. Book.release date is also here. And authors is the array. So let's do authors next. Let's go down here. Oh, check that out. It's already working. We already have book one, A Game of Thrones, author, authors. We haven't done that yet. We have United States release date. So we have authors and release date to do next. I'm going to actually, well, here, instead of just doing a implicit return, let's switch this to an explicit return where we go return. And the reason I'm doing this, you'll see in a second, there we go, is so that we can create some data here. I want to create const authors is equal to book.authors.join. And since it's an array, we're going to join that array with comma space. Okay. And that's the way we can turn that array into a string and also join it by uh, comma space. So everything inside of that array will just have a comma and a space in between it. And we're also going to go const cleaned date is equal to new date book dot released and this is so that we can format that release date to date string is good and we'll do that okay so now we have authors and we'll replace that down here authors and then we also have cleaned date here right there cleaned date let's save that we'll close the console come back over here hit fetch data and now we have book one, A Game of Thrones, our author, pages, place, and release date. All right, so that's kind of all of the techniques we've been using throughout these challenges. We are able to listen for an event for the click. We are able to run a function on that click. We are able to use state. And then now that we have set books and books, uh, React will go ahead and update, and we're mapping over these books and formatting it and using JSX to display all that good stuff. All right, thanks for watching challenge number seven. I'll see you in the next one.